welcome back to another video now it has been quite a while almost nine months now since i have made an updated top 10 list of some of the best gta servers that you may want to try out so i figured i wanted to make an updated video to keep you updated with the current best servers available for gtrp both on the 5m and rage mp platform now i tried to include a pretty wide variety of different servers this time to hopefully help you guys out when trying to find them and find one that suits your playstyle and your needs now the majority of these servers do come from word of mouth just from hearing friends as well as other people in the gta community say a lot of good things about them and a lot of them are also from me just doing my own research trying to find servers out there that seem like they have some great communities as well as great scripts and unique scripts on their server now i'm going to try and keep each server kind of description kind of short and concise to give you guys the most pertinent information about it so you can easily make your decision and don't have to watch let's say 10 to 20 minute videos on each server to decide which one you may want to play on i'm gonna try and keep each server description as short as possible while still providing the information you may need and as always all the links to the different servers mentioned in this video will be in the description so if you guys want to check one of them out again link will be in the description for all of these servers if they do have either a website or a discord or whatever they may have it will be in the description you can also scroll along the timeline of this video or check the description for the different timestamps if you're looking to check out just one of these servers or you just want to skip around the video and check out some servers here and there that seem like they may interest you i also have made some more full length review videos on a couple of these servers and i plan to make a couple more of them in the future if any of them either have videos made for them previously or i make them in the future at the start when i am mentioning the server in the top right i will try and include cards for each one of them so if you want to check out a more full in-depth review you're able to click on the card in the top right and it should bring you to the video of going over whatever server it is a little bit more in depth but i think that's gonna be about it for the intro again i'm gonna try and keep each one of these servers descriptions as short as possible and still provide you guys the info you need either way let's start it off first of all talking about grand rp <laughs> Alrighty, so first off, we're going to be starting with Grand RP. It is a server on the Rage MP platform, and it is quite a popular one at that. Sometimes during the peak hours of almost 10,000 active players across 11 servers spanning across seven different regions. So no matter where you are, they have a server that is near you, which is pretty crazy. Most servers usually stick with just one or two servers, but they have again 11 different servers. They have quite a lot of very interesting features and a super super responsive UI. Uh, there's a gang slash family system where you can level slash rank up your family or gang and get access to special events, items, houses, vehicles, and more. There are tons of mini games as well, which is something that's very unique to the server. Not a lot of RP servers kind of mix it in with mini games as well. So that was something that was really cool to see. And they're also a ton of fun. So you're able to play those mini games if you just want to mess around for a little bit and have some friends and want to break during downtime when not a lot of stuff is going on. And of course, you can still earn money and different stuff through these mini games. But honestly, it's just something nice for if you're kind of bored in the downtime or in between RP, they are tons of fun to do. You can also compete with other gangs, as you would expect coming from a gang, uh, in competitions, events, and of course, taking over different zones of the city and holding them down and showing your prowess above others. There are some actually really cool events you can do, like big PvP events where you have to go to like maybe an island or you have to go onto different maps. There's some pretty cool, interesting PvP events and just regular events in general, both kind of in the minigame format and also just while you're playing on the server as a whole. And there, of course, is an absolutely insane Insane amount of custom scripts, mini games, events, custom cars, custom clothing, weapons, and more. They are all super clean and honestly look straight out of a professionally developed game, which is pretty crazy, especially for a Rage MP server where most, if not all, of the server has to pretty much be built from scratch. Also, if you just don't want to get involved with the criminal scene on the server and that's not really your pace, there's tons of other options for both civilians, law enforcement, EMS, and more. There are tons of various jobs with really cool leveling systems as well for them all. Uh, just to mention a couple, I guess, uh, they include electricians, truckers, plumbers, collectors, FBI, LSPD, San Andreas Highway Patrol, EMS, Builder, 
pilot, farmer, lumberjack, taxi, bus driver, street vendor, fireman, trucker, oil deliveryman, and quite a few more. There are again quite a few jobs on the server. I definitely recommend it for both beginners looking to start out and kind of learn the ropes and veteran RPers looking for something new and fresh. And that's going to be about it for Grand RP. Next, again, let's move over to Echo RP. So moving on to the second server of the list, it's going to be Echo RP. Now Echo RP has been a server that I have honestly been hearing the most about out of almost all of these servers as of recently and of course throughout the past couple of months. They have been out and growing for quite a while and now recently after a couple of different popular streamers such as different ones from the chain gang from the popular server NoPixel came over there for a little bit and now the server has become a super popular one hitting their player cap of 380 players almost daily and almost constantly having 200 to 300 players online at almost any given point. It has a super unique HUD as well as tons of other various custom scripted heists jobs and more there are also tons of streamers constantly streaming the server i think when i checked just randomly while i was making this video there was at the time i think over 30 so if you guys wanted to get a taste of the city and check out a bunch of the different people's povs i definitely recommend checking out some of those streamers again if you just go onto their discord or their website i believe they have a bunch of those streamers listed there and with over 20,000 registered players, you're also guaranteed to run into all different types of characters. And from what I have heard, there are tons of amazing role players over there as well. Just again, hearing from word of mouth from tons of people I know who have gone over there and enjoyed it a ton. There is also a custom housing system with shared garages, access to be able to buy anything pretty much from imports to helicopters to even end game yachts. There are also tons of player ran businesses, including player ran gun stores restaurants, art galleries with custom commissions and art, record labels, and more. Of course, to go along with the imports, they also have plenty of custom clothing to make sure you're looking good in the city, including tons of IRL brands as well as custom server-made clothing. The server also has their own YouTube, which I definitely recommend checking out if you are interested in the server. They create monthly montages of the top clips from a bunch of their streamers on the server, and it's definitely worth a watch if you want to kind of get a condensed amount of content on the server and get a real feel for it, in my opinion. They're also another one of those servers with an absolutely amazing dev team with constant and updates for both optimization, content, and bug fixes. With a super active staff team and the majority of the community seemingly focused on RP above all else, there is something for almost anyone here, and I definitely recommend Echo RP. Well, that's gonna be about it for that. Let's move on to the next one. Coming in at the third server, we're going to be talking about Vital RP, of course, on the Rage MP platform. Now, Vital RP has been a server I have personally been paying attention to for almost the last three years, I believe, maybe two, three years around there. And after multiple setbacks, it has finally released and right off the back, hitting almost 300 players daily. Now, again, this was created by a friend of mine from the Eclipse server. He decided, you know, Eclipse really wasn't for him and the way stuff was being run there. So he he, as well as a couple of his friends, decided to go and create Vital RP. If you guys had watched the Eclipse series, he was the leader of the Dojin Kai over there. Again, that's a long ways ago, but in case any of you guys remember that, that would have been him. Now, starting off, they have a crazy amount of all custom made scripts, as well as some really unique features. And one feature in specific I have been looking for on every server and not been able to find that. And that feature is that every single house on the server with over a thousand of these mapped out has interiors that actually fit the style and shape of the house and you can actually interact with the outside world as well you're able to look out windows and look out those windows in your house as if you were actually there it is definitely a pretty cool and unique feature it is something really cool that i honestly haven't seen on any other server and that's one of the biggest features even though it might seem kind of small to you guys that i personally enjoyed about the server they also have tons of other notable features including an advanced mdt system for the law enforcement on the server to interact with and use during their everyday activities some really clean mechanics menus and honestly just the ui in general is super clean they also have some really really nice and unique building systems and more 
There are also tons of criminal activities to do on the server as well, such as growing and running drugs. And if any of you were here for the Eclipse RP series again around one or two years ago, you may have remembered the labs feature where there are different labs or drug labs around the map that will consistently move around at various different times. Uh, and basically what you're able to do is fight over these labs because they're able to process, grow, and produce various different drugs that are very valuable. So what's really cool is that different gangs will try and take these over. You'll have certain fights of different gangs. And of course, if it gets a little too crazy, the cops will come in and have to shut down the whole thing. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things. And I have some of my best memories from old RP servers doing these kind of drug labs or raiding these drug labs. And honestly, I'm definitely glad to see it on Vital. Now, usually in my experience with Rage servers as of recent, it seems like most of them release, they get quite a high of player cap, but then usually they slowly die off within a couple weeks. But with Vital, surprisingly, it has been already out for almost four weeks and is still every day sitting in a constant almost 300 players, even with a couple struggles in the launching days of the server, dealing with multiple DDoS attacks and a couple small issues here and there. It was really nice, honestly, to see both the devs and staff over their push on as well as the players staying in there even if there was a little bit of a rocky start which of course was not really on vital but obviously these things happen especially when launching a new server on the rage mp platform that is a very competitive platform since there aren't a ton of very popular english servers i definitely look forward to seeing where vital goes and plan to make a full length video soon on them so be sure to look out for that but i think it's gonna be about it for vital again another server that if you're looking for the good old feel of eclipse rp when well, you want a new fresh server server, I definitely recommend checking it out. Alrighty, so this next server we're going to be talking about is one I have actually talked about previously and that is going to be New Day RP. Now, the reason I mention it again in this video is going to be because on June 25th of this year, I believe, they actually released their 2.0 version where they fully wiped the server as well as added a ton of new scripts, jobs, and more. So there's definitely a lot more new content to check out. Now, even though it did happen in June, which is quite a little bit ago. That means that still this wipe is still a little fresh. So if you are looking to get in a sort of fresh wipe, I definitely recommend checking them out, especially with their 2.0 version that has recently released. Uh, they also now have quite a bit more players. I've seen anywhere from around 250 to 300 players online. When the last time I made this uh, about a couple of months ago, I think eight, nine months ago, they were having around 140 players. So they have definitely increased in popularity and are still going strong. And again, there's still a ton of streamers on there. If you do want to check out some of their current povs there is also no pay to win on the server which is a big thing for me and of course as mentioned before they have some cool features such as a calendar on their website to check out in-game events either hosted by the players or staff and there is also a ton more to do again this is not one that i want to go too in depth into i have heard good stuff about it i don't know a ton of info but it is one that i will recommend as i have heard good stuff from the majority of people and again with their 2.0 releasing there is definitely a lot of new content to go check out but again we're just going to mention that as a short one because i did mention that in the previous video there were just a couple updates to the server either way let's just start moving on to the next one real quick And the next one we're going to be talking about is also going to be a short one, but I can't really make a top 10 video without, of course, including the ever-present and popular server NoPixel. Now, again, the reason I mention this is because, of course, it has kind of been the server that popularized the RP genre, especially on Twitch with a bunch of big streamers, YouTubers, and more playing on it and streaming it and honestly having a ton of fun. Now, personally, in my opinion, it has seemed like NoPixel pixel has shifted a little bit from where they were initially focusing a ton on rp now don't get me wrong there is some amazing rp and compared to most servers they have an amazing amount of rp on their server but it has shifted a lot towards the lines of trying to get content for the different streamers on the server at least on the whitelisted server it seems to be that way and people taking stuff either way too serious or just not serious enough but without anyone really finding a good common ground but again it is no 
pixel and no pixel will always be no pixel i don't think anything will ever change that uh now of course they do have the whitelisted server which you can actually buy priority for now which in my opinion is cool if you want to get into the server and interact with some really cool rpers but it kind of diminishes the thought that you know obviously their whitelisted server is the best of the best and it's very hard to get into but now of course you can kind of just buy priority which kind of ruins that a little bit but again it's a very expensive priority just to be able to play on the whitelisted server but again always a server worth mentioning and of course the public servers aren't too hard to get into you can buy priority for that for about 30 bucks which again for just playing on an rp server is you know obviously quite expensive but if you're looking for those kind of scripts and getting the no pixel experience you can also of course check out their public servers which are a little bit easier to get into but i'm gonna probably guess you're gonna still need priority if you want to get in consistently but that's gonna be about it for no pixel again all of you guys know no pixel if you're watching this video and you've been anywhere around the rp scene in the last three or four years Cheers. I have also done a couple videos on NoPixel if you want to get a little bit more of an in-depth feel, but again, that's going to be about it for right now about them. Let's just quickly move on to the next server. And that next server is going to be Redline RP. Now, before we start about this server, I am a little cautious to mention it, as this is primarily used for some big YouTubers, which I believe as Trayton and LNFP, or not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing that, LNF or something like that, uh, but they play on that server, and it seems like they use a lot of it just for kind of content, which is, of course, perfectly fine if that's what they want it there for. Uh, another thing to mention with Redline is they have a very strict whitelist application. You actually have to submit an application and then wait in a waiting room once your application is accepted to be able to have an interview to then get into the server so it is kind of a whole big process so if you don't want to do something big like that uh, redline may not be for you but they definitely have literally thousands of custom cars they have almost pretty much every custom car you could think of on that server they have tons of criminal activities jobs the civilian activities uh, again tons of stuff to do on the server but it is very very geared towards you know the big youtubers on that server making content so you may run into kind of some weird stuff here and there another huge thing that actually while i was editing this video happened is they released their version 3.0 again on the 22nd of this month so there's definitely a bunch of new content for you to check out as well a lot of people on the server are very into car collecting because of course there is so many cars on the server so there is definitely a lot to do and a lot to experience here definitely recommend checking it out but again it is a very hard server to get into and a little bit of a pain to be honest but if you do get into it again there's tons of stuff to do tons of custom cars clothing and more definitely recommend checking this one out although again the application and whitelisting process is quite a pain let's again move on to the next though with that being High Life RP. Moving on, the next server we're going to be talking about is going to be High Life RP. Now, it is a public server on the 5M platform. They actually boast a crazy amount of players. They have over 200,000 registered members, and they are constantly at their player cap of 300 pretty much all day. So, it is definitely quite the active server if you're looking for one that's pretty much always going to be populated. They also have a huge amount of custom and IRL vehicles, unique in-depth robberies, an in-depth drug system, tons of MLOs with some of them being custom made as well, a very active staff team, and a staff team that takes it pretty seriously. They also have updates on a pretty much daily basis, a custom made anti-cheat, and quite a bit more. If you're looking for a more semi-serious RP server with lots of whitelist roles and an active population, I definitely recommend High Life, and again, it is public so you don't actually have to sign up for anything or get whitelisted you can just join the server uh, and but as i did mention there are some whitelisted jobs that you might have to apply for but of course that's only if you want to go down that route you can always just do whatever you want on the server of course uh, but i think that's gonna be about it for high life rp let's quickly again move on to the next one
the next server we're going to be talking about is one that i also have to mention just like no pixel in almost any top 10 video or just video talking about gta servers in general and that is going to be gta world it is a rage mp server it does have a whitelist though and a pretty pretty decent one at that uh it's not super easy to get in but it is going to take a little bit of effort at least now the reason i always have to mention gta world is because it's something a little different from all the other normal servers you see uh it is a text only server uh which again is most likely not most people's taste but it is a very niche community over there now again it is one of the longest standing ones and one of the most popular ones so if text rp is something that you are interested in i definitely recommend checking them out although again text rp is definitely not for everyone they have literally tons of custom businesses mlos jobs the admins are super active over there and again they have some really great story driven rp because everything is text-based it does make stuff a little bit slower which leads to quite some interesting and more long slow burn rp uh, but again with the text base it is definitely a little bit of a slower pace and of course you're not using your voice too much so it's definitely a bit of a different experience but i figured i'd always mention them because again if you are looking for text rp this is pretty much going to be the only server that you want to look at there are a couple other ones out there but this has been the one that's been out there for the longest been the best and has pretty much always been populated with not too many issues and again as i said before they have a super active and helpful both staff and developer team and that is going to be about it for gta world again if you really are into that text-based stuff this is definitely where you're going to want to either start out or if you're looking for somewhere to join possibly join again let's move on to the next one The next server is one that I am actually a little bit of a part of, uh, and that would be Just RP. It is a server on 5M, and of course, it is whitelisted. Now, I've been there from the start of Just RP, and I have seen it grow and develop over time. And honestly, it is being constantly worked on and improved. And there's 150 capacity on the server, although normally there is around 130 players, which means you're probably not going to be experiencing too much of a queue. Now, there is a wide range range of different things to do on just rp of course there's most of the normal stuff you find on almost any gta server on this list such as the cops ems doj etc uh, there is also a bunch of player run businesses pretty much almost any business you can think of is ran by players they have custom clothing designers they have a ton of different businesses and restaurants that are run by all kinds of different players with all different themes and specialized food for each they also have quite a couple record labels in the city so if you're looking for someone to get into some music with or just looking for some fun rp and visiting some concerts here and there in general you can definitely find that here as well of course there is also a crypto and boosting system so plenty of stuff to do during the downtime or just when you want to feel like grinding a little bit of this or that there's also a ton of regular civilian jobs including the recycling center of course there is truck driving hunting and a whole lot more definitely a lot of stuff to check out on the server and again with it not usually being at the player cap it's pretty easy to get in and most likely most of the time you're not going to be hitting a queue again definitely recommend it and let's now move on to the next one and the final server in this list lucid city rp Again, last server we're going to be mentioning is, of course, Lucid City. Now, they are a whitelisted server on the 5M platform. I believe the last time I talked about Lucid City, uh, they were obviously thinking about working on their 2.0 version. And since then, I believe, again, if I'm not getting this wrong, that they have released their Lucid City 2.0, which came with quite a lot. Uh, of course, one of the most noticeable changes being that they raised their player cap from 300 players to 350 players. And even with this raised player cap, they are still staying and pretty much hitting their player cap every single day of the week which is pretty nice and shows you that the server is definitely well active and populated with lots of members joining daily now there's quite a lot to do and quite a lot of couple jobs uh, starting off with most of the basic ones they of course have quite a couple cool ones and some more unique ones of course uh, they have a san andreas highway patrol they have a county sheriff's department they have of course the regular police department then of course they have ems they have judicial branches as well which is pretty cool and then they have a couple cool whitelisted jobs that you don't really see on every single server because most of them are kind of ran by admins 
or staff teams. You are able to actually work at an import business as well as a real estate agency. You can also get a job at Weasel News working as a news reporter. And they even have an airline company, which is definitely something unique. And I don't really think I've seen that too many times on too many servers. They also have quite the healthy mix of both gangs as well as civilians, which is also kind of hard to get on a lot of servers, but think of they've seemed to have done a pretty good job at it. Again, it is a public server. So again, no whitelist application to join it. And uh, I believe if you just join their Discord or something like that, you're able to just join the server automatically. It's not too much of a hassle. And again, definitely a very active server with a healthy population and some good and unique scripts, UI, and just overall feel and look of the server. And again, a pretty healthy community. So that's going to be about it for Lucid City. And that's going to be about it for the video. Again, I tried my best to just go into each server and talk about them a little bit, kind of give a general overview. Obviously, I'm not going to have time to mention all the servers features i'm just trying to give you guys a general sense of the server so if i fail to mention any of the server's main features in this video which may happen again i should be making some more in-depth videos on each one of them hopefully in the future and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below and i will do my best to go research or go find out various information about the different servers if any of you guys need it i will try my best to answer it but again i think it's gonna be about it if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like these kind of videos do take quite a bit of time time as well as editing and of course me messing up a lot on recording but again that's going to be about it if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video